What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another tutorial. Today we'll talk about Relentless Finisher Badge. This is one of the most common badge that slashers or part slashers have, so it's really good to know how this badge really works and how much stamina does it really saves. But before we do that, let's have a quick look first on the badge description, which is coming up next right after this intro. So what I'll do is I will do this really specific testing method to test how much each badge upgrade roughly saves. So how it works is I will equip LeBron each badge, then I will play a full quarter by just doing contact layups and not playing defense at all. And at the end of the quarter, let's see how much stamina will be left. I know it's not going to be so precise but I'll do some workaround to make it more efficient. First, I will try to do exactly the same move in every possession, like this one. I get the ball here, jab step and execute these jab spin, then explode to the basket, then do the contact layup. By the way, if you want to learn that really good spin jab step, just click the link at the top of your screen. Next method, I won't play any defense at all. I will just wait here for the pass so I won't consume any unnecessary stamina. Another one, I will limit my shots up to 11 shots only, so I'll be more precise. And for the last one, I'll make 3 tests for each badge upgrade. I know it's not much but at least it will give us a bit more efficiency. Now let's have a look at the numbers. Hall of Fame averaged around 69, Gold with 63, Silver with 58, Bronze with 56, and No Badge with 53. 69 compared to 53 is a really good margin so it just means that the badge really works. Just post the video if you want to have more time. Now to add more sense about the stamina points, let's have a quick look what 3 point stamina means. So here's how you consume 3 point stamina. After all those plays, LeBron had 97 left, so that's 3 stamina points taken away. Now it makes more sense, right? So 69 points left for Hall of Fame, and 53 points left for not having the badge at all. It's like 16 points difference, so it's gonna be roughly 5 times of this play. So it's not that bad. Now for the verdict, we all know this is a good badge, but how much upgrade does your build need? I would say if you're a pure slash or a part slash, and you play park, even with Gatorade boost, I would still get at least silver and max Hall of Fame for this badge. Because it's going to be 3 vs 3 or 2 vs 2 and you'll get a lot of touches. But if you play on Rec, Pro-Am or just grinding in my career, I don't want to spend much on this badge because you're not going to get a lot of touches anyway and I would rather buy some Gatorade instead of wasting 3 to 4 badge upgrades in this one. Probably silver or bronze at max will be fine. So in summary, it's a good badge, I mean, based on our testing, 69 compared to 53 is really a good margin, so it's kinda worth it, but it depends. So that's it for this tutorial, if you liked the video, please click that thumbs up button, and don't forget to drop by the channel for some other videos, I got lots of badges, builds, dribbling, and some other in-game tutorials, and I'll be making like 5-7 to seven videos a week, so subscribe to tune in for these videos, and happy gaming guys!